A question that I've been asked a lot recently is how do you code individual player minutes and output those player minutes in a box score? So on my screen here, I've got five basketball um, players and they're all code buttons. Each one of these code buttons has a button ID. So we've got player 01, as you can see down here in this gray bar, player 01, player 02, 3, 4, and 5. And off screen, I have five label buttons mimicking those code buttons. They are mimicking those code buttons by, if we go into the scripting, they are identifying the button ID of those code buttons and then renaming, renaming the label button the name that is in that uh, button ID slot. So we've got player 01, he's got Luther Muhammad in that slot, so that's what the label is called. Same with CJ Jackson for player 02, that's what the second label is called. Now when you start coding, whenever offense or defense is pressed, through the use of activation links, all these labels are going to be pressed. So if you press offense, all the labels are going to be pressed. Press defense, all the labels are going to be pressed. That means in each one of these Ohio State offense and Ohio State defense rows, all these instances are going to have within them all the players that are currently active in the game. So then when you go to the output window, the scripting is quite simple. We're identifying the two rows that are in the uh, in the timeline, so home team plus offense, home team plus defense. That's just because here I've got Ohio State, which is the home team, and as its button ID, and it's just adding offense and defense to that button ID. So home team plus offense is just Ohio State offense, which is the name of the row. Now we're counting the length of the player where the row equals Ohio State offense. We're doing the same for the defense, with the player variable B player variable being the button name player 01 and because this is from a traditional box score each one of these y-axis names was there would be player 02, player 03, player 04 down to y-axis has its own individual button ID so this one's player 01 so player equals player name player 01 hence Luther Muhammad so length Luther Muhammad where row equals a high state offense length Luther Muhammad where row equals a high state defense we're adding those times together and then in the show, we're showing timer two, which is giving us a minutes and seconds format. Total time, which is the two variables added together. And this zero is just gonna reduce or completely remove any decimal points. In this case, as we've got a zero. I've also got two movie buttons to identify um, what we wanna show when we click the button. So then when we go, you know, report mode and we press execute, that's what we get. Now if we just for it, you know, so you can see um, a larger number. Let's go to a game that's fully coded. Press execute and we've got 28 minutes and then when you press it it's going to show you um, all 28 minutes that Luther Muhammad played in offense or defense. So that's how that scripting works. If you have any questions my email will be in the description. Thank you.